Good morning, guys. I really hate being on camera this morning because you're getting the real deal. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting late uh, in my spring cleaning process today, but that's okay. I had some college stuff I had to take care of with my husband for my son because he's getting ready to go to college. And he got the grant to go, and they're going to pay for his first two years, and we are so excited. So I have a son that's on his way to dental school. Okay, so um, we have a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. I don't know if you guys can see my dogs over there basking in the sun, but we have a gorgeous sun. The sun has been spotted here because it has been gloomy. It has been warm, but it's been, yesterday it rained all day, which we didn't need because we've been under flood advisory, not specifically for where my house is, but other people. Um, and I know it's been flooding in other areas with all the amounts of snow and everything like that. So I hope this video is finding you guys okay and safe and dry and maybe enjoying a little bit of spring weather. Um, I'm having a cup of coffee right now. The very first thing that I have to do today, and I apologize if this is super dark, but I don't have any lights on in here. I just have um, just the windows. Um, the first thing I have to do is my kids brought all the laundry out to the kitchen. Well, not to the kitchen, but at the end of the kitchen where my laundry room is and threw it all on the floor. So I'm going to sort that and put it in baskets and start my first load, which will probably be these curtains um, up here in the kitchen. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, up there, the curtains. And then um, once I'm done throwing those in the washing machine, I need to quickly empty the dishwasher because um, I may not have done a whole lot of anything else yesterday, but I made sure that all the dishes were um, washed before I went to bed because I didn't want to wake up today to spring clean the kitchen and have enormous amounts of dishes. So one of my suggestions to you guys is to make sure that you keep up with your regular housework. And then when you come into spring clean, it, you won't have to do any of those chores. You know, you won't have to move those items around to do um, the big job that you are going to try to accomplish uh, today. So um, I was I really tried hard to make sure that I got everything all cleaned up um, from dinner last night and um, I may not have perfectly, which is never perfectly in this house, um, you know there's always somebody coming out here getting leftovers, throwing them in the microwave or um, dripping coffee on the counter because somebody's always drinking coffee and so you know perfection is just so overrated anyways, right guys? But this kitchen's clean. The thing is, is it's clean. Um, but this house is lived in. I mean, you guys know I've homeschooled all three of my kids. There was never a time that somebody was not home. So this is a home. This is not a show place or whatever for um, entertaining. I mean, you know, lavish parties or anything like that. It's definitely categorized as a real home with real children, real pets, all those good things. So, um, the first thing I'm going to tackle, like I said, is sorting the laundry, emptying the dishwasher, and then I'm going to throw the curtains in the washing machine. and start cleaning these windows and um, you know I'm going to do the glass first from top to bottom and then I'm going to um, tackle the you know the wood and around the edges and you probably
pan here. It's like a dish pan from the Dollar Tree. I've got tons of them in the house, so um, I just use one of those. I've got my um, Mr. Clean uh, cleaner in there, and I gotta tell you, it smells really stinking amazing. I'm just gonna put a rag in there, and now I'm gonna tackle all my wall hanging. the bay area because it's the bay windows right there um, look how dirty this water is and that was just from the wall hangings guys and of course I did all of the trim on the walls and then you know I try to get the light sockets anything pertaining to the wall that looked like it needed to be wiped um, the windows are all clean my curtains are ready to get put into the um, dryer I washed all of this stuff and cleaned this here and now I'm gonna go on to the table but first um, I'm waiting for my husband to get back he went to go get my son from work I'm gonna have him wipe this light fixture down real good because I'm vertically challenged and I can't get up there <laughs> and the only person I have here to help me has a broken leg so I'm really messed up today guys so um, when I get this light fixture uh, clean, I'm going to wipe down my table with some good, I'm going to change this water out by the way, add my rag, and I'm going to use some uh, Murphy's oil soap. I'm cleaning my chairs and I just, I just cleaned two and you can already see this water getting pretty dingy. Uh, excuse my floors, I still have to clean those of obbies. Okay, so I take the Lysol cleaner and I spray it around the edges of the chair. Hopefully I'm holding this camera right. It's hard to do this with left-handed. <laughs> okay, so I just make sure I get in between all these little spokes in the chair. You'd be surprised the stuff that builds up in your chairs. And then I wipe down all the spokes of the chair. And of course you wanna get the back of the chair really good and get the whole chair wiped down and then when I'm done with the top I go to the bottom of the chair and get all the bottom of the legs and everything um, if you have pets or little kids that drop crumbs stuff sticks to the bottom of spokes or I'm not even sure if I'm saying chair terminology correctly but the legs and the bottom of the chair stuff sticks to that and then it's really really dirty so I'm going to finish these chairs I have two more I'm already out of breath <laughs> and then I got this one and I have two more and then I'm done with the chairs I went ahead and started on chairs because my husband hasn't come back yet and I'm waiting to clean my table 
um, after he gets done with the light fixture. So I just went ahead and started on the chair. So I'm gonna get this going. Okay, all my uh, chairs are clean and I even wiped down those mats. They're like plastic, so you don't have to throw those in the washing machine, just wipe them down. So the, these are all clean and I got a hair on my camera. They're still a little damp, but that's okay. I'm just gonna let them air dry. Scott came home, he hung that up that fell off the wall, which you probably seen. And then um, he cleaned this light fixture. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but can you guys see the lint on my table? That's why I didn't clean the table because all that stuff falls off the lamp. And now I've got to scrub this. So that is next, I'm going to do my table and then I'm going to tackle the baseboards right here in this bay. I call this the bay area, the bay area of my house. It's really a breakfast nook, which I can't understand because we don't have any other place to eat. But <laughs> it's crazy. But anyways, I'm going to uh, spray these baseboards with all-purpose cleaner, and then I'm going to uh, get going on the table. Okay, I took a little bit of a break, and then because my older son came home, and um, yeah, so I took a break, and then of course um, I have dishes because we had to eat some lunch. And uh, I went ahead and I wiped down all of my appliances and all the ones that was out in the kitchen that don't actually stay out, I went ahead and put those up. And now all of my counters, I know there's like bits and stuff that needs to be wiped, but I'm not concerned with that right this second. Um, and this side has been cleaned off. Of course, you can see my disaster of laundry room, but just ignore. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to take everything out of my oven and what I'm going to do is go ahead and spray my inside of my oven down really 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 good and I'm going to shut it because it's very fumey and I'm just going to let it do its business while I ta tackle other stuff I need to tackle in the kitchen. While that's sitting I am going to mix up my Murphy's oil soap and water again with an, a new rag and I'm going to tackle all these cabinet brushes. bad um, I'm gonna get all this uh, swept up and mop back there and then I like to use all-purpose cleaner to wipe the back of my refrigerator and then I like to get back there with my rag that I clean my cabinets with and get in behind where the refrigerator sits just to make sure that you know it's all tidy and there's no little cobwebs or anything back there so that's what I'm gonna do next all right I got the cop the copper pans down off a up here but I had two hooks that won't come out my husband's gonna go get something to get those out um, I cleaned the light fixture that he took out of the ceiling right there and he got up there and wiped all of that down um, and he's gonna put that back and yeah so we're making progress and then I'm gonna have him straighten up my can shelf for me and then I'm going to go ahead and clean the chest of drawers and the fronts of the fridge just got done scrubbing out the microwave so it is all clean and got the inside of the stove all done and foiled. Now I'm going to tackle wiping this down. And then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and bleach the counters and I'll show you what that entails. Okay, I am now finally <laughs> to the point that I am going to bleach my counters. Um, what I do is I make a thick paste with this Comet 
uh, with bleach. This is the um, lemon fresh. I had to look and see where that was at. Um, this was 92 cents at Target. You can't get any cheaper than that. It's cheaper than a Dollar Tree. But as you can see, my appliances, they leave ugly, ugly marks on my counters. And, you know, we, my husband drips coffee, and this white countertop is a consistent battle. I mean, it really is. I hate it. I just don't have the money to do anything to remedy the issue at this point, but that's okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to sprinkle this all over my counters, and then I take a rag with hot water and kind of make a paste with it and massage it kind of into the counter. I leave it set for 15 minutes and I come back and rinse it with hot water and this counter will be white again. Coffee pots here with my vitamins. I keep my vitamins next to my uh, coffee pot because, <clears throat> excuse me, because I uh, don't want to forget to take them. My kitchen sink is all clean. My counters are all clean. I got all those dishes put away up there on the top. Plus, I um, got my crock pot over here. All of this is clean. My utensils. All my wall hangings have been scrubbed down. All my baseboards have been done. Microwave and oven cleaned out. All of my cabinet fronts wiped down, my refrigerator underneath and back and fronts and sides have been wiped down, glassware and things that go up on top have been sorted. I have this stuff here yet. Um, this stays here. This is actually a clean uh, thing for my steam back I'm going to put on there before I mop. This has all been clean, all these baseboards, my dog's bowls have been bleached and uh, rinsed with soap and cleaned. My canning shelves has been cleaned. Everything on the wall, again, all of this has been cleaned. I've done mopping and now I'm heating up my iron and I have my starch. And uh, I just used a heavy duty starch. And I got my clean uh, curtains here. I'm ironed and I got them hung up. Hopefully it's coming in clear because of, you know, the sunlight coming through. But I got them all ironed, starched, and cleaned. Got everything done. So I'm really, really glad to get all of this done and cleaned. And spick and span. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I definitely feel even more motivated for tomorrow to get my living room all clean. This is really awesome to, um, you know, a clean space is very motivating. An organized space is very peaceful and it makes you more productive. And that's how I feel about my kitchen. You guys know I like to bake and cook, but I wouldn't like it if my kitchen was dirty and not upkept. I would hate it, in fact. So, I am so glad to get this all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this motivated you all. And I'll be talking to you guys again tomorrow with my living room cleaning. All right, guys. See you guys. Bye.